three, two, one. Hi! <laughs> so today I'm joined by my friend Joseph and Bill. Um, they're both college students and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Joseph. Uh, I'm a rising junior at Princeton University um, and I'm going to be majoring in computer science. I'm Bill. I'm going to be a sophomore at Yale and I'm uh, studying computer science as well. So me and Bill are the same year. Joseph actually Full story, Joseph is the same year as us, but he graduated high school a year early, so he graduated in his junior year and went to college as like a supposed senior, but like a freshman. Um, so he, we're actually all the same year. We know each other for many years. We all did like math club and like science Olympiad and things together in high school. Yes, and today I have them here to talk about how they got into the Ivy League as computer science majors and how the experience is studying computer science at a liberal arts university. So the first thing we're going to talk about is GPA and standardized test scores, so like SAT, ACT, and AP scores. So Bill, what do you remember what your high school GPA was? Yeah, um, so basically I got, I got like two Bs, and so the unweighted was like uh, 3.9 something, 3.9 okay. something, and then, uh, and then the, the, the weighted, because I took a lot of honors or AP classes, like extra weighted classes, so it ended up being around like 4.6, 4.7 sort of thing. For a weighted GPA, so all A's except for B's. Do you remember which classes they were in? Yeah, yeah, um, it was in ninth grade English and <laughs> very specific. And 10th grade uh, AP Euro, so yeah. Okay, so more like humanities courses. Yeah, yeah, those were generally tougher. Was English was especially hard for me, but then um, and also 10th grade Euro, I just find history a bit like harder to learn. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like they were more in the beginning of your high school, so I guess like you still saw sort of improvement because like it was only like your first English class and we didn't have history in ninth grade. So technically it was your first English class in high school ever and your first history class. In high right, year. right, yeah, yeah. Okay. How about you, Joseph? Oh, like, um I had I don't remember my GPA exactly, but I got a B in uh eleventh grade English for <laughs> semester. Oh no and a B in uh, AP US History, which is also in 11th grade. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. But, but I, I did like apply to college before those grades like came out. Oh. Early, so. senior <laughs> right. Early senior writing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so keep in mind, Joseph's junior year is basically a senior year because that was his last year of high school. So like Will said, early senioritis, maybe the attitude was coming out a little bit. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> Do you guys remember your standardized test scores? So did you take, or I guess we could do Bill first. Did you take SAT or ACT? Yeah, I actually first took SAT. Um, I took it, I think the summer, like right when um, junior year started, I took it and I got 1560. And for ACT, I think I took it at the end of junior year just to see, like, cause people were like comparing <laughs> ACT versus <laughs> oh SAT. And I just wanted to like try it and mm -hmm. I actually got a 36. Um, Joseph, how about you? Do you remember your scores? Um, I took the ACT, not the SAT. I got uh, 36, and wow. uh, that's it. 36 in all the categories? Do you um, I don't believe so. I think I might have gotten a 35 on the English section, but right. yeah. Okay. It was a long time ago. I think I took it um, like September of sophomore year. Okay. Mm. So Bill, do you remember what AP classes you took, and as well as like any AP tests that you might have challenged? Yeah, yeah, so um, my first AP class was in, t uh, yeah, we're in, was in 10th grade with like, I think my first one was AP CSA and probably AP Euro, which was okay. in like 10th grade or something around there. Yep. And then um, in 11th grade, I took uh, five AP classes and also in 12th grade, I also took five AP classes. Okay. Wow. So uh, I don't remember what they were. Let me think. Uh, you don't have to. It was like in junior year, it was uh, a push, chem, a push, physics, physics, one, Cal Cal Lang, Cal and Lang, yeah, Cal and Lang. And then, um, yeah, in 11th grade, I also had like a mobile app development, which was part of like the CS Pathway at Oxford. Uh, and in 12th grade, it was like a bunch of other stuff, <laughs> okay, <laughs> which is yeah. hard to list, but it was like uh, econ, uh, psych. Gov and stuff like that. Yeah, Bill ch challenged a lot of. Oh yeah, I challenged a lot. Um, so in like ninth grade, I took like chi challenge Chinese. I think I need also challenge. We took it, it together. Because yeah, um, 
Yeah, yeah, because we speak Chinese at home. <laughs> Sound like somebody. <laughs> so, yeah. I speak some Chinese uh, at home. And then I also did like music theory, like one of the years. You did? Yeah. Oh. I got, AP music theory. Yeah, I yeah. Wow. I self studied. I got a Impressive. four, but I almost got a three. But <laughs> wow. Yeah. But that was that was Amazing. tough. That was definitely hard. Because uh, I like played piano and stuff like that mm -hmm. before. So I played piano and even yeah. I wouldn't have <laughs> music theory. Yeah. It was, the test was very weird. They they had like they put us into like a small room and they had like a big speaker and then oh no they just played, like music and then wait you got to do like ear training and stuff too yeah it was ear training and stuff I think yeah. I didn't take it <laughs> it's hard it was hard Joseph how about you um are you talking classes or tests um classes and tests classes and tests okay um well I took the test for all the classes that I took except for the ones in junior year because <laughs> like. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really want to do anything anymore. Mm -hmm. um, Did you challenge any AP tests? Yes. Uh, I took AP Physics one in ninth grade, and to do that, you need like, like a prereq is like calculus or something. So I challenged AP Calculus AB in eighth grade. I mm. self studied for that. Um, got a four. The eighth grade. In eighth grade, yeah. Wow. 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 Speed run. Oh, that's pretty good. Speed run, yeah. <laughs> Um, so then, uh, and then in ninth grade, I did, um, I took the course AP Physics 2 and challenged AP Physics 1, AP Physics 2, and AP Physics C Mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Speed run. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, I challenged AP Physics C Electricity and Magnetism, or is it Electrostatics and Magnetism? Electricity and Magnetism. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, I challenged that one, uh, and I think it's like... A lot of schools will accept a physics credit if you do all four, or if you do physics C, both physics yeah. C tests, and get a five on both of them, then you can skip the physics like gen ed prereq. Um, so at Princeton, I didn't have to take physics, which was amazing. Really, I don't oh. like doing labs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Physics was the only science class I had to take. Chem, like everything else, was already covered. Yeah, so AP Chem, and you can skip Chem. Um, really? Oh, yeah. I, I think Yale doesn't have that. Um, really? Yeah, I don't Yikes. think you skip any. But I mean. You could just get placed into a high level, but it doesn't count for like credits, major requirements oh, or like credits. No. Yeah, it doesn't count for credits. I see. You get to go to higher classes. So. You probably took the same APs like generally that Bill did, because our high school, um, they sure. have like <laughs> set like courses. Like you have to take A push in, in junior year, for example. You have to take Lang in junior year. You have to take Lit in senior year, along with like Gov. So like, there's a lot of classes that you have to take, and like generally the APs fall into that category. And then math. Like you took it obviously earlier than we did, but we still like took them at the mm -hmm. same time. Okay, so next let's talk about extracurriculars, starting with clubs that you did in high school. Bill, do you remember? Yeah, that? yeah. So um, I had a few uh, major clubs. So it was like math club. Uh, actually, in the beginning, I did way more like other clubs, but at the end, I sort of focused down to like a few. So um, my main clubs were math club, computational modeling, um, and then chess and. I also kind of dabbled in like FBLA and HOSA like the last years, but that was just like for fun, so yeah. <laughs> we did math club yeah, together, and all, yeah. all three of us did like competitions math, competition math throughout yeah. high school. I have pictures of our competitions that we attended <laughs> oh. together. How about you, Joseph? Any clubs? Um, not really anything seriously, to be honest. I was in math club as well as oh, a yeah. member. Um, in chess club as well, low key as a member. Joseph yeah. was more of like a competition person. You'll see later that he did a lot of like Olympiads and more, like <laughs> academic stuff, which we'll talk about next. Um, so actually, next we can talk about research. I, research is not something that everybody does in high school, but I think Joseph, did you do research? No. Well, Bill did research, so yeah, we'll talk about research. a little bit yeah. of what Bill did. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, I got in contact with like a. Caltech professor or sort of th through like family contacts I guess and um, I basically just worked on like the computational side of like biology so like computational biology so a lot of it was um, processing data which is kind of bio but the same as more like data science sort of mm -hmm. computer science sort of side of things so yeah yeah that's cool and then both of us, or like all of us, but let's focus on um, Joseph, I guess, because Joseph did like a lot of Olympiads. <laughs> so Joseph, do you want to like list for us the competitions that you did in high school? Um, not many. I mean, okay, so... He's being humble. We did Math Olympiad, like all three of us, right? Um, or like... AMC, I guess. Or 
Math. That, that is math Olympia. Is that called math? AMC oh, is. It goes to the way. American math competition. Right. I guess. Well, math Olympia is. I did math Olympia at elementary school. Like, right. That's that's, that's elementary, elementary school. school. What? That's elementary and middle school sort of thing. Yeah. 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 So I guess. Math, math counts. Yeah. So we did math counts. Okay. And then we did AMC, <laughs> we which also is like did math Olympia. Yeah. And and Amy as well. And also did um, chemistry Olympiad. Um, Starting from when? You did it early on, right? 10th grade, yeah. 10th grade. Um, I mean, I kind of did have to do things early because I did apply a year earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's also like coding Olympiad, right? Yusaka? Oh, oh, oh I totally yeah. forgot yeah. about that. Oh my right, gosh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right, right. I, I did do that as well. And then physics, I tried doing right? that, but it was hard. Oh my gosh. How can I forget? <laughs> physics <laughs> is... Ah! Okay, so... Physics. You saw Obviously, her. like I did physics very early, right? Yeah. Like I challenged three AP tests in ninth grade, and I studied for physics Olympiad like for years, and actually like a lot went into it. Like I even went to this like camp. summer camp mm -hmm. thing <laughs> where I studied physics for like three weeks. Oh my gosh! Um, and I never qualified for nationals, which oh. which is okay, I guess, but kind of disappointing. Um, I think I did physics Olympiad for like three years, and then the last year I was like a point away from qualifying. Oh my gosh! Dang. And I think if if I didn't run out of time, I would have been able to answer like one more question. Would have been able to get one more point. Yeah. But oh well. I mean, I was I was okay with my performance. Like I felt like I did what I could, and that was enough for me. <laughs> nice. When did you yes. qualify for like nationals for, or when did you qualify for Amy in high school? Like which years? All of them, okay. I think. Ninth, I'm not ninth, sure. 11th. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and how about like, I don't know how Chem Olympiad works or how Yusuko works. Like, do um, you qualify? Chem Olympiad is um, so anyone can take it, I think. Uh -huh. Or maybe you have to be an AP Chem to take it. I'm I'm not sure, but you take it, and then um, it's it's like a regional competition at first. And then like a certain number of people per like county or per area or whatever will qualify for nationals and then everyone in the uh, county takes it and then they select a certain number of people to go after that so i got to the county level but then like after that it just got way too hard so i i hardly even tried for that one well, to be I, honest <laughs> i took it in junior chem olympia in junior year but i only got stuck at the regional <laughs> didn't we all take chem olympia together in junior year yeah. i didn't do it in junior year Oh yeah, when well, we and Bill did, and I, I didn't, I didn't qualify for anything because that was like my first year. So, like, it's really I just hard. Took HP and then AP, yeah. Um, they pick twelve people from like our area. I was, mm -hmm. uh, and like if you qualified for nationals the previous year, then you automatically get a spot oh, right, for the next yeah. year. Yeah. Oh, nice. And so there was this one person, like the year that um I took the test, who already qualified. So they only had eleven spots for oh. like our area, right? I was number eleven. <laughs> oh, so that was close. Dang. Good the job. score I got I got to qualify for that was the lowest score ever. That that <laughs> the like lowest, the lowest oh, cutoff oh, ever. Oh my yeah. Gosh. Nice. So, so you still made it. <laughs> yeah. Hardly. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally let's talk about like extracurricular. So like if you did anything outside of academics, like I know Joseph did piano, Bill did soccer, <laughs> for example. You wanna go first, Bill? Yeah, yeah. At school I did um soccer. That was most yeah, that's mostly it at school, but outside of school, I also um, did other stuff as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Joseph? Um, well, I I play piano. It's right. <laughs> not not that big of a deal. I feel like I mean a lot of people play piano. <laughs> um, I got to CM level ten, which is basically like like CM is a certificate of merit, and you like take a test, do a performance like every year and there's like levels and you advance to the next level and stuff. Um, level 10 is the highest you can go, I think. And I, I yeah. got there. <laughs> you all did yeah. too, right? I yeah. did too, yeah. I think I did that in 10th grade or something, but then I kind of stopped piano after, which is, yeah. um, I still play occasionally, but after see, uh, level 10, there's actually also another thing. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It was like panel or something that you also could do. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, I, didn't know that. I didn't do that either. I didn't okay. Do that. <laughs> well. okay, and finally for extracurriculars, we'll talk about summer programs. So, Bill, what things did you do every summer? Oh yeah, um, quite a lot of stuff actually. Let's just start from like high school, cause uh, yeah, but like at the end of ninth grade, um, I went to this 
program called Cosmos. Um, it's at the UCs, so it's it's more of like a California thing, I guess. But um, that was kind of like sort of like a, a bit of research, I guess, research experience um, over a span of like six weeks or something. Um, and then uh, at the end of, uh, I think, hmm. At the end of 10th grade, I think what I mainly focused on was like holding like a rocketry camp, I guess. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I forgot, but anyways, yeah, at the end of 11th grade, I went to like a math summer program um, called Ross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then last summer after senior year, I didn't do anything because I was at relaxing. Home. Yeah, yeah. we were at home. Yeah. yeah. So. Tristan, how about you? I think mostly during the summer, I just took like courses. Uh, and that's about it. Like what I type of classes? Think, like physics. Mm. I took physics. Um, oh, I also took a Java course once. Mm. Um, Exciting. Yeah, first time I learned Java. I'm not ready. Okay, so do you guys have any final words of advice for students watching this video who are currently in high school? Yeah, yeah, I would say um, regardless of what you're thinking of studying to um, challenge yourself um, like a lot of people say just be yourself but you have to be sometimes be more than yourself <laughs> um, in that like you should just push and try to do more like things that um, might be challenging but can still be like meaningful and worth your time because um, like one of the important things about like a liberal arts education is sort of to explore multiple disciplines and sort of to find what uh, fits you the best so that's it for part one of my two-part video series with Joseph and Bill. Next video is going to be about how exactly studying CS at the Ivy League is like. So talking about course schedules, student life, extracurriculars, and all of that fun stuff. So good luck with your college applications and stay tuned for part two of this video on this channel. Bye. Alright, so today we want to investigate the question, is it egg or... I say egg. <laughs> what? No, wait. Egg. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you say egg. Yeah, I say is egg. It, is it egg or... Egg. Yeah. I, which one is it? Oh my goodness. Judge? It's egg. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There you have it. That's settled. unfair. <laughs>